Willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome back to Blast Off with Light. And the sun is rising over another beautiful day on our freezing cold planet. Some things have changed, some things have stayed the same. Over there used to be a spire full of resources. Now, two chests full of resources. I just wanted to tear one of those down to see what the ore distribution was like in them to get a better feel for how much work I actually need to do going inside of the spires. And the moral of the story is, not much. In one corner, in a little bit, there's some copper. Up around levels like five and six or six and seven, there's some resources on the inside. But other than that, everything's pretty much on the surface. In that spire, I found no zinc. So, no flax beards today. Oh, tree grew just as we were watching it. Uh, I did do some exploring, found more meteorites, and got, uh, that's the wrong chest, quite a bit of the meteorite chart, uh, chips and made them into ingots. That's, you know, how I got my hat from last episode. I'll eventually want to make some better pants. Um, but as it stands, I'm doing pretty well. I also killed myself some alien creepers for revenge. Um, I had two of them appear with a meteorite and two pop out of a meteorite. Killed them with my bow. And I was worried, how am I going to get more arrows? There are no chickens. Then I remembered, skellies. Skellies drop arrows. Uh, before we... Well, it seems to be pretty warm here, so I don't need to worry too much. Uh, but killing them gives you a chance of getting these uh, red meteor gems. And so does harvesting the meteors. And one other fantastic thing, I was wondering how I was going to get glowstone. Because there's a little bit in the world. I don't have a portal to the nether yet, but et voila! Glowstone, diamonds, and meteor chips from meteors that this thing swallowed up. It tried to fall on my house, it fell inside of there. Good stuff. So, what else have we done? Over hereabouts, we've got this torch keeping this water as water, such that we can grow sugarcane and carrots. Got some uh, carrot from a zombie that I killed. I've got a stone barrel, which I use to make my obsidian. Like you saw over here, I've got two crucibles for lava and one for water. I said last episode I'm not going to use the barrel trick, and I'm not. I'm putting snow in this crucible, getting my bucketable water that way. Drinkable water over here. Speaking of which, I'm probably pretty thirsty. So, if I'm not going to be doing flax beards, what am I going to be doing? Well, for one, come on now, this speed four is just ridiculous. I have unlocked immortality. Now, I don't know why my skin isn't on there, because see, I'm me, he's not me. So I don't know if sync is broken, and I don't want to die to find out. But given that I've got carrots, Oinky and Oinky had Oinky Jr. So I have pig slaves keeping me immortal. <laughs> But what we're going to do, we should, theoretically, have enough materials to get our lumber axe of obsidian and bone. Now we're going to go into the book, make sure we get the right pieces, because it would be thoroughly embarrassing to get all that and make them backwards. So, blade and binding out of obsidian. Blade. And binding. The rest is out of bone, which will likely take up all of those bones. There we go. I probably should have turned it into bone meal. I think you might have a slight numerical advantage when you use that, but Eh. Okay, so slimy sapling, dark oak, or acacia. I've got acacia. I haven't planted it, but I've got it. Dark oak, you need four of those anyway. So I'm going to go for the slimy sapling, and I'll figure out what to do with hops later. 
and that unlocks drawers. So four two by two drawers and four storage upgrades gets us a compacting drawer. We'll get there in a second. Lumber. If it makes us make the parts, we might as well make the tool. Uh, so we've got this fancy, fancy lumber axe. What shall we call it? I'm thinking Paul. And now Turbo Axe can go away because it's not so... Well, it's kind of Turbo. Efficiency 5. Wow. And the mining speed is still 0 0.6. We're moving up in the world to 1.9. Let's go test them out. Two, three, four, down. That is so much better. It's still not amazing, but it's so much better. I think a well-used hatchet still might be able to beat it, but I don't have any hatchets. So one, two, three, four, should be Let's go with that many. So we need to make some drawers. Two by two. Let's double check this. We don't want to build the wrong ones. Two by two, full size. Two by two, full size. Takes chests and wood. So we're going to need to go Bow for that. Let's make the rest of that. Make our drawers. There we go. Now the upgrade. Storage upgrade two. Requires iron. And an upgrade template. Upgrade template takes more drawers. So how many do I need to make of everything? Four of those. Detection tasks, so it's already detected those. We could theoretically turn those into the storage upgrades. I think that might work, but we don't have the iron. Theoretically, we could cook up the iron, but we just, we don't have it right now. We've got other plans. So let's do our other plans. And if we got time at the end of the episode, then we might do something like that. But what we're going to do, uh, we could do the grout. We could, no, we don't have enough obsidian for that. We don't have the zinc for this. Um, theoretically, we could do that, but I don't care enough about that to do it right now. What we really want to do is do some fishing. Because we've got redstone. They've got the fishing stuff. Let's get some fishing stuff. I never remember where I put it. Really? That's what you thought I wanted to do, game? <laughs> okay, redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's put this way, put that way. Put everything away. We really don't need most of this stuff. Now we got a bit of redstone from that tower over there, so this is no problem. We've got that. Bait worm, grasshopper, or maggot. So let's look up bait. Bait worm comes from dirt and apples. The odds are better with apples, but apples are not particularly easy to get. Um, maggot bait from various forms of meat. Rotten flesh is super easy to get, so we can get those for days. Saplings, leaves, various... Ooh, a bee bait. Interesting. So anything grassy gets you a grasshopper. I can get leaves for days. So yeah, I'm thinking the bait worm. 
get a sift two sifters and wooden fishing rod claim so we take this guy we kind of want this near the water so sift and then do we have anything worth sifting hmm not sure how many saplings we've got really and it was the other game where I had the uh, piles and piles of leaves so yeah let's just to see how this works we'll take one dirt worth of saplings and just toss it on oh right magnetism let's try that again there it goes and we got ourselves some grasshoppers eight of the saplings got us 13 grasshoppers good stuff now this is a wooden fishing rod it can use grasshopper maggot and bait worm bait so no bee bait for me not until i get a better uh rod now we can fish in this little fishing hole but there's a problem well for one let's Make sure we stay warm through this entire process. The problem is you don't want to throw it such that it hits things. So what we're going to do is send it straight up. Well, we need to get fairly centered in this block. And then we throw it straight up. Hmm. It's mildly problematic trying to get this to work right. That seems slightly working. Well, we need to get ourselves to a position where this is going to work. Now this doesn't necessarily seem to be working. So what we're going to do, oh, it worked, and we caught an unbreaking infinity bow. Fancy. Um, not what I wanted to catch, but I'm okay with it. So apparently, just throwing it there and waiting is good enough. But I want it to demonstrate the problem. Now, since we've got the lava, we're not going to be getting hypothermia. Thank goodness. Come on. Come on, fish. Now, you probably didn't want to just sit here and watch me fish this episode, so I could talk about some other things. Um, I really do want to get in flax beards. The seam power does seem cool. Um, the trouble is the water situation. It takes a lot of water to operate, and we got a stick. It does take a lot of water to operate, and we have to melt it with the crucibles. So we could get a lot of crucibles. We can get uh, a lot of snow from the roguelike dungeons. Apparently this water is just rubbish. Nothing in here but sticks and bows. Come on, demonstrate my point already. Oh, helper creepers. Yeah, those support creepers gave me slowness too. Probably doesn't quite cancel out my speed four, but it does make my field of view a bit wonky. Now, I'm trying to catch an actual fish here, and all I'm catching are sticks and bows. I don't know if it's because of the way that I'm fishing, or where I'm fishing, or what I'm fishing with, too many options. But I really want to fish. Demonstrate my point already. Um, what else am I looking forward to? So, pneumatic craft. I'm looking forward to a ton. I love pneumatic craft, and it has... Okay. Apparently, the only thing in this lake, or this little stream, are sticks. <laughs> sticks and stick-like objects. 
Uh, you can see the water splashing about outside of the actual water. It's an interesting side effect animation. And theoretically, you should also be able to see the fish approaching the bobber from out in the world. Like so. Okay, there appears to be nothing but sticks in this place. Let's drink our water and then stock back up. Let's have one more. Now what I was trying to demonstrate is that if you catch a fish and the fish leaves the water, well, it dies. So if you want to catch live fish, you have to do so while in the water. Whoa, that was weird. Hello, gentlemen. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fire it into the water, and then I'm going to go down here. And I need to catch it while I'm underwater. Now, theoretically, this should work. But again, if all I catch are sticks, it doesn't matter. Maybe I should cut. And what did I catch? Maybe another stick? Oh! My smart moving swimming was on. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't actually done a whole lot with the smart moving swimming. Oof, that's weird. Uh, yep, yeah, another stick. So, if any of you happen to know why, I can only catch sticks. Uh, actually, let's put the grasshopper bait away. It might be the grasshopper bait that's having issues with this biome. Put the grasshopper away. Let's use up some bait worms. Okay, so let's fire it in. Come down here. See what we can catch. Ooh. Protected my land from a meteor. Another stick. I don't get it. Why can I only catch sticks? Why am I freezing my butt off in this water just to catch sticks? And I suppose it might have something to do with the running water. But I mean, really. Okay, so let's put the lava down. Let's grab this water. Put it here. Apparently there was already water there. Let's seal that off, such that it's just standing water. Okay, we're gonna hold this, hop back in the water, and try again. There we go. That's a good cast. At least it should be a good cast. But it's not floating. Let's try it again. 
That's way too far out. Yeah, it sounds like this every morning, because there's always tons and tons and tons of zombies. But now we can hear again, so we'll listen for the sploosh. Really? Just as I surfaced? And there we are! We caught ourselves. Oh, dead salmon. I was underwater when I caught it. I don't know if the smart moving causes the trouble. I don't know if the size of my fishing hole causes the problem. There are too many concerns. Uh, whether the flowing water at the bottom causes the trouble. Too many variables. So I got a little frustrated with the fishing there for a little while, so I went away, let some snow cook, managed to uh, set up a nice little fishing hole over here. Um, so this little area, it just didn't cut it. it. Yeah, it just didn't cut it. So over here, I've got various heat sources keeping the water liquid. Uh, the redstone lamp down there helps to keep the bottom from freezing over. The uh, smart moving is not the culprit. I believe I found a method for catching real live fish. So we've got the dead ones that I caught a couple of times and one live female cod. So let's try this one more time just for good measure. So we cast into the water, we go in under the water, and we wait. Glub, glub, glub. Glub, glub, glub. It does look a little bit on the weird side. <laughs> and then we wait. Surface a couple times for air. And eventually, something will show up. Generally you want your bobber on the surface. I think it was hitting the bottom that led to all the garbage. And what did we catch? We caught another raw tuna. So it's not guaranteed, even when you've got the bobber appropriately on the surface, but it is possible. Using this technique, I was able to catch a live fish. I might need to fine-tune how I get the bobber into the pond. Like this one, it's floating on the top. I don't think that's good. So let's try it. Yeah, it's really hard to get a good cast. There we go. Now it still floats up over the top. Don't know why. And I'm almost out of ant bait, so I'm going to have to get more dirt and leaves and saplings and stuff to get more bait. I've got zombie flesh. I can make tons of maggot bait from that. Um, and I've got a zombie spawner, so I could just set up shop over there, make tons of bait, catch lots of fish. Oh, I've got jump boost now, too. Not a huge fan of jump boost, but it is what it is. Is that another stick? I think that was another stick. So, overall, it's a relatively frustrating mod, but if you stick with it, you can make a decent pool, catch yourself a fish. I just need to catch a male one now, and I'll be good to go. So, I will see you in the next episode of Blast Off with Light and Cod. <laughs>